Hey guys, I'm Chuck, and those are my Charlie cards, and these right here, these are my fancy Charlie chips. In the town I live in, we have a happy face mowed right into the side of a hill, that's why this is Happy Face Hold'em. The goal, log 500 hours of 2-3 No Limit Hold'em, and have more Charlie chips at the end of the session than we started with. Let's get into the action. Alright guys, welcome to the vlog, thanks for being here. We're starting this one off with 300 at a 2-3 table at the Bicycle Hotel and Casino in Los Angeles, California. I'm sitting on the hijack. Look down at King Queen offsuit to get the session started. I put in a raise to 20 with a limper or two ahead of me. And lo and behold, it's going to fold around. All right. Let's see if we can't uh, get some action going in this game today. Here's the nice little Freedom Court at the Bicycle Hotel and Casino. They've kept it really nice and clean. This is their outdoor eating and waiting area. And under that awning there is where the poker room is. It's set up, and we're happy to come down here and play. The LA weather has just been absolutely amazing lately. All right, so we're in the small blind in this one. Stack's still sitting at about 300. We look down at pocket fives. All right, playable hand from the small blind. But when it gets around to me, the big blind wants to just chop. I guess no reason for the house to take a rake if you don't have a jackpot hand. So we're going to toss this in the buck, let them take our dollar, and move on the pocket tens in the cutoff all right the pocket pairs are flowing today we're loving it so in the cutoff as it's folded around we raise it up to 15. we get one caller and a flop of queen nine three rainbow 38 in the pot and the actions check to me i'm going to throw in a continuation bet of 20 dollars, sizing up just a little bit here hoping to take this one down which we do all right, not sure what I was targeting that hand, but uh, $10, $20 bet is going to make it work. All right, under the gun. Not a pocket pair this time, but queen jack suited. Stack still at about 300 Just kind of uh, up a hand, down a hand, up a hand, down a hand. Not a whole lot of action going on here. Anyways, we open it up, and action folds around again. My goodness. Can this table get any nittier? Doesn't anybody want to play? I guess not today. Just not in the cards. So we're moving on. Sitting in the cutoff in this one. As the action finally limps around, actually folds around to me on this one, we look down at pocket threes. Gonna bump it up to $15. With 20 in the pot, we're hoping to get a little action. And we don't. All right, guys, I don't know what's going on. We just cannot get any action today. I don't even know that we've seen a flop. One flop. All right, so we're upgrading on this one. We're going to look down at pocket fours. All right, an early position player across from me there, leaning back in his chair, looking all comfortable, had opened the action to $25 and with my pocket pair, I am just going to set mine on this one because finally I have another player in the pot. Flop comes down 8, 6, 10. Rainbow with 55 in. He pushes 100 out. I'm not really sure what's going on, but... Doesn't matter, didn't hit our set. We're just gonna muck this one. All right, upgrade almost to the max. Pocket Kings in this one. I had opened to 20, had one caller. I continue on this flop with ace high for 25 and that other position with about 130 in a stack jams all in. There's always an ace on the flop when you have Kings, right? So. Maybe a nitty fold on my part. He could have been on a flush draw easily. I may have the best hand, but the way this table's been playing, you know, it's just not worth putting in the extra 135, two to one on my money. Looking at the odds, you know, if he's on a flush draw, I'm a three to one favorite. If he's on the ace, then there's no reason to make the call here. So with that in mind, I just make the fold. All right, and this one I had opened from under the gun with pocket jacks, pocket pair day. Flop comes down seven, king, three with two clubs on the board. Um, action's going to check around. I actually checked out of position in this one. Oops. Uh, so action checks around. We go to the turn, which is the ace of hearts. Uh, player to my right is going to check. I'm going to check. And the late position player in this one is actually going to 
put out a small bet of this one. You know, is he on? Does he have the ace? Uh, probably not. He's probably got, uh, I don't know, weak king. Maybe middle pocket pair is kind of what I'm thinking here. Probably thought playing position he could bet the ace and get us off. So river comes down an ace. Uh, I check the action over. We're heads up at this point, and he puts out a small bet. So again, here I have to consider. You know what does he have? Uh, I don't think he has the ace now that it's paired the board. Uh, you know, king unlikely. Maybe a broken flush draw. So considering all the hands that I do beat, I make the call, and he flips over pocket fives, and we're gonna stack up some tar Charlie chips. Finally, we get. A hand with another player in it. We get to the river and we take this one down. Love stacking up those Charlie chips, no doubt. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Happy Face Hold'em. You can uh, see where I'm at today, the Bicycle Hotel and Casino. It is Friday the 13th of 2020. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But anyways, figured it was a good day to hit the fill. Good game in. Anyways, uh, plan today, it's early. I got down here about 9.30 in the morning. I've been here for about an hour. And uh, it's just kind of an up and down game. You know, pocket kings, see an ace on the flop. Uh, guy ahead of me jams, gotta fold it. Uh, pocket jacks uh, with an over on the flop, call it all the way to the river. The river pour, uh, pairs the ace on the board, I call it. Get lucky in that one, he shows pocket five, so we take that one. Uh, ace queen suited on the button uh, three bet get one caller from uh, middle position who had opened and uh, it will totally whiff the flop totally whiff the flop uh, but small c bet takes it down so uh, kind of up and down um, uh, pocket fours called a, an open to 20 set mining didn't work out but anyways it's okay so looking at my stats you know i thought this would be a good chance to uh, review some stats so overall, um, for about the last year now, I'm running at about just over uh, five big blinds an hour. That's in uh, one, two, one, three, and two, three, uh, LA, Vegas, and home games. And some Ventura when they were open. Uh, my home room still hasn't opened, so I, I drive all the way down here. Um, I bought a really good book, and maybe I'll tell you guys about it eventually. Um, in August and started studying. So since September 1st, uh, my game has improved drastically. And, uh, you know, I'm up in the 17 big blind an hour win rate since September 1st. Um, so my 2-3 game has definitely improved. So given that, not that I've hit my 500 hours of 2-3 yet, I'm still only, uh, I think, 2.30 into that venture. But I thought if I can run it up today, we're going to play some 5-5. Five five. So uh, we'll see if that happens. Right now I bought in for 300, one bullet, playing 2-3, and I'm down about a buck and a half. So uh, moving in the wrong direction to jump into the 5-5, five five, but it's in the back of the mind today. So uh, let's take a look at some of these hands. I appreciate you guys being here. I do appreciate when you uh, like, hit the thumbs up down there, smash it. It helps the channel out a ton. And please subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a lot as well. Almost to 1,000 subscribers. I've been saying that for a long time. I thought the, you know, the run from 100 to 500 subscribers was quick. Uh, from 700 to 1,000 is painfully slow. But hey, it's okay. I enjoy doing these vlogs. You guys are enjoying watching them. I love the feedback in the comments. Man, I got some shit for jamming my bottom set against a big stack when another player was all in. Uh, with a flush draw on the board. Uh, some of you like to play, some of you don't. So um, I'm going to defer to the book here. I'll go back and read it, and I'll report back to you on how I thought I should have played that hand. But anyways, for now, back to the felt at the Bicycle Hotel and Casino. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. Happy Face Hold'em. All right, inside their Freedom Court, these are little signs they have going everywhere. Keep six feet away from others. Um, as of right now, things are shutting back down in L.A., so I'm not sure how long poker is going to be going or what the hours will be going forward, but uh, things are going backwards due to the Rona. So before we look at this hand, uh, at the last table, it was so nitty. I finally stacked off all my chips. I was down to about $80, and I was dealt pocket aces, and I tripled up to get back to 315. So I left that table 
with a $15 profit uh, after having pocket aces. I searched the room for a table with more money on the table and this was the table and the floor man was nice enough to put me in the number eight seat. These are eight handed with plexiglass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first hand I get into here. In this one I'm in under the gun and I get pocket aces again. All right, pocket pairs have been flowing all day. So from under the gun, I have one limper ahead of me. It looks like, um, uh, sorry, that was the big blind. I bump it up to $15, just gonna give them the rope. The player down in the number two seat raises to $70. So the action's gonna fold back around to me and he's got about 170 left in the stack, I believe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all in here and let's go see a flop. He snap calls, by the way, and the flop comes favorable for us. First time we actually finally hit a set today. All right, board runs out, we're good. We're going to stack up Charlie Chips, which is the thing we like to do, things are definitely looking upward today at the Bicycle Casino. All right, a few hands later, I'm in the hijack and I get the pocket rockets once again. Uh, we don't get it all in, but you know, how can we play for big stacks? So uh, actions to me in the hijack, I raise it up to 20 in this one with a one limper ahead of me. And as the action comes back around to me, I start to flip over my cards, I thought, it, the action had folded and the player to my right says, no, 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 you got one player down there. So I almost exposed my cards to the whole table when I find out I have a caller down in the number one seat. So flop comes down, five, seven, king, rainbow. I see bet here, a little bit on the small side, just hoping to keep any king holding in, uh, any middle pair, and I do get a call. Turn comes down the six of spades. Now I decided to size up, thinking if he did call me with a king, then he's going to continue. Uh, so I put in a bet of $55, hoping to get a call. I have to push it out there. Uh, OMC down there in seat one, a little hard of hearing, and his eyesight's not all that good. So I push the bet out there a little bit further for him to see. And he is going to elect to muck this one. In any case, still happy to take this one down and stack up some more chips. All right, looking down at this one with king, queen, offsuit on the button. Uh, we've stacked up to about $700 now. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I played this hand a little bit passively and I'd like to know in the comments, how would you play this hand? So again, this table had definitely more chips on it. The player, the villain in this scenario was sitting on about uh, seven, maybe it was 1200 but anyways he had me covered uh, by quite a bit he had opened the action to 15 um, when I make the call here and it looks like we had one other caller uh, to this pot flop comes down nine for queen rainbow so we've hit top pair with second kicker pretty happy about that with 50 in the pot the initial uh, razor leads out for $20 pretty much on the small side so I have uh, no other option than to call here Thought about putting in the raise, but again, I mean, he could possibly be in sitting on ace queen and have me out kicked. Um, hard to say in this case. So the turn comes down six of diamonds and he elects to put out uh, another semi small bet for the size of the pot. And I'm motioning to the dealer, I'm hand signaling, verifying his bet size, which was $40 in this one. So still under a uh, half pot size bet. Um, so I'm just going to flat again here, a pretty dry board. I don't think anything's going to change the river, so I'm just going to continue my line. He checks, and I am afraid of the ace-queen. I probably at this point should have bet for value, uh, knowing that I had the best hand when he checked to me. Uh, so I miss a little value there for sure, but we do take down some more Charlie chips and add those to our stack. So again, let me know down in the comments, how would you play that one? Loving your guys' feedback. Uh, you know, I'm on my journey here, 500 hours of 2-3 No Limit, just trying to improve my game, um, which I think I've definitely done. I recently went back and watched vlog one, and uh, yeah, definite improvement. All right, so I was pretty bored um, at this point. I, a couple orbits went by and I hadn't played a hand. The player to my right had just taken down a pot, a large pot with King-9 offsuit. So when I look down at King-9 in the next hand, um, I definitely am going to play this hand like... 
a true wreck donk. So we go back and forth and he jokes that he's going to raise it. And so I make the call and tell him, let's go. I'm sitting on 900 in my stack here. So very interesting. We get plenty of action on this table. By the time the action closes, we're five ways to the flop with $50 in the pot. Uh, and the initial raiser was to my right. So the flop comes down pretty good for us. We hit top pair with second kicker, uh, two clubs on the board, pretty wet, pretty dynamic board. Uh, you know, a lot can change as we go to a turn in the river. So when he bets out 20, I raise it up to $60 thinking I probably have the best hand. I want to charge for any draws. Could someone be on an overpair? You know, maybe this is the bad play, how a rec player would play it. Um, but anyways, so he decides to jam. He doesn't have a whole lot left in his stack, so I'm just happy to make the call. I think I definitely have outs here, and I have the equity to call. So anyways, uh, runner, runner, brick, brick. Doesn't change anything, and he shows pocket aces. Well, I didn't see the pocket aces coming with the $10 uh, preflop open, that's for sure. So he's going to definitely take some of my stack. Anyways, we we'll continue playing. We stack back up. We cash out for a 405 profit in this one at $79 an hour. Yeah, so goes. And here's what you see in LA. Look at this. I guess when you miss your off ramp, you make your own. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate the uh, thumbs up, the likes, and the subscribes.